YouTube, what's good? What's good with y'all, man? Um, Mike here, you already know who it is. Back again. Another video here to talk about some boxing. Um, y'all see the title, man. Turns Bud Crawford will be taking on, um, you know, Tomas uh, Delorme uh, April 18th. We don't know the venue yet. And uh, we don't know if this fight is going to be, you know, main event or co main event. So, obviously, on that day, you got, um, you know, Lucas Matisse taking on, um, you know, Ruslan Pavodnikov. So, uh, we don't know who's going to be co. Who's going to be main event? We don't know the venue yet, so we're going to figure all that out. I'm pretty sure they're going to figure that out within, like, the next, um, I don't know, week or two, something like that. So we're going to figure that out. But let's, you know, talk about the fight, man. Um, you know, this fight is at 140 pounds. Obviously, Turns uh, Crawford coming up from 135 pounds. Uh, Turns Crawford's record is, I believe, 25-0 and 0 with 17 knockouts. And um, Tomas Delorme, like, 22-1 and 1 with... Uh, 14 knockouts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, obviously, Crawford undefeated. Uh, he had, uh, you know, two fight. He had a fight last year, one of the biggest fights in his career with, uh, you know, Euro Jokic's game, Boa. That was a bit, one of the biggest fights last year. That could have been fight of the year or even knockout of the year. Big fight for Terrence Crawford, uh, TKO and, you know, game Boa in the ninth round. Uh, Garen Boa was actually moving up and waiting that fight, but, I mean, five pounds, don't make a difference. So he lost that fight fan square. And then a uh, year before that, he captured. It was either last year or the year before that. Uh, Terrence Crawford went over to Scotland, uh, you know, UK to fight um, Ricky Burns for the uh, lightweight title at 135 pounds and went over there and took the title from Ricky Burns. And Ricky Burns, before that, fought. Um, he fought uh, the guy that broke. Uh, fuck. Y'all help me out here. The guy, uh, Ricky Burns fought before that. They broke his jaw. Uh, Ray Beltron, that's who it is. Ray Beltron, he fought, uh, Ricky Burns fought Ray Beltron before that. And they fight that Beltron broke, uh, Ricky, uh, Burns' jaw. A lot of people, and that fight, a lot of people thought that, you know, real Ray Beltron won. So I guess he should have been the champion taking on, uh, Terrence Crawford. And Terrence would have beat him got a title. So, I mean, I guess it wouldn't have made a difference if he, you know, got it from Ricky Burns or got it from Beltron. Uh, Terrence Crawford could beat both of those guys in the same night, in my opinion. But Terrence Crawford, I mean, excuse me, Ricky Burns is a good fighter. He's a good boxer. But um, I don't know, man. Ever since he took that loss, his career is kind of, uh, it's kind of going down. But um, yeah, man, he went over to the UK and took it from Ricky Burns. Then he had the biggest fight last year with Yuri Yokes Gamboa. So he was in two big fights in his hometown. His last fight with Gamboa in his hometown, and his, you know, fan, he got a big, tremendous fan base over there. I think he put about 10,000 people in the seat, so he has a good, tremendous fan base at home. But anywhere else, could he sell tickets? Eh, I don't know. So, um, so obviously, uh, you know, Tomas Delorme, his only loss was uh, to Abregu. Uh, he got stopped in the, um, he got, I think he got stopped in the ninth round. He got knocked down in the, he got knocked down twice. I don't remember the rounds, but he got knocked down twice. And, uh, you know, Bregu, I think that corner uh, stopped the fight on Tomas Delorme, so it ended up being a ninth round TKO. And, um, you know, he got stopped in that fight. And that was his only loss, and, you know, he pretty much beat everybody after that. He fought, uh, you know, Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, beat Chop Chop, I believe, two years ago by decision. He fought, um, it's, he fought, uh, I told you, Bregu, he lost. He beat Chop Chop. He beat Kareem Mayfield, another good, you know, fighter. He beat Kareem Mayfield by decision. And then he beat uh, Hank Lundy, and then um, then he wait. I'm trying to think. I think he beat British Prescott. Tomas Delorme, British. Pre I think he might have beat British Prescott, the guy that you know fought Amir Khan years ago when Amir Khan was like 18 and 0. British Prescott was like 19 and 0. Both of them had high knockout ratios, and you know British Prescott caught Amir Khan with that crazy right hand, and he got up, caught him with a crazy left hook. And right hand and knocked him down. He, that's the guy that knocked, you know, officially Miracon out, gave him his first loss, British Prescott. He was a great up and coming, you know, prospect, but now his career is kind of shaky at this point. So, you know, Tomas Delorme beat him, Hank Lundy, Demarcus Corley. So he got a few, you know, not, uh, names under his belt as well. So, I mean, it's going to be a great fight April 18th. Uh, if you match up both guys' style, uh, st I mean, if you match both of them up, both of them are good boxers. You can't take nothing away from them. But, um, you know, Crawford is undefeated. And Crawford has also also shown that he has a little bit of dog in him. What I mean is that he just won't, you know, fight on the outside with the jab. He don't mind, you know, coming forward and hooking with you body shots. You know, he don't mind doing that. Tomas Delorme don't like to do that. A lot of people call him soft. He's soft on the inside. Uh, Hank Lundy showed that. Um, 
um, Hank Lundy should actually be Tomas Delorme, if, if you ask me. But I mean, I'm I, this is not a diss video to Delorme. I'm just, you know, giving my opinion and letting y'all know what I think. So, um, you know, uh, like I said, he got a few names on his belt. Uh, you know, Terrence Crawford got a few or a couple names on his belt. So, uh, both of this is gonna be a great matchup, man. Twenty-two and one, twenty-five and no. Both of them got decent punching power. Who gonna come out on top April eighteenth? I don't know. I mean, yes, I do. I'm lying. I'm gonna pick Terrence Crawford. Uh, like I said, man. I mean, he showed that. You know, he put it like this: the fight against Yuriokis Gamboa. Yuriokis Gamboa is a great boxer. Great boxer has great spit. Uh, sk excuse me, skills. He know how to you know faint. He know how to feign a jab and stick a right and roll under. Great boxer. Um, you know, Terrence Crawford adapted to that and ended up, you know, catching uh, uh, game ball with a shot, hurt him. And then the fight pretty much changed uh, from there. So, um, as far as Tomas Delorme's chin, uh, I think he can I think he can take Terrence Crawford's shot. But as far as skills and having dog, I'm going to give it to Terrence Crawford. But it is a close fight in my opinion. Um, you know... Like I told y'all, uh, Tomas Delorme only loss was to uh, you know Bregu, a guy that some Dom Ali beat in uh, Las Vegas last year on the undercard of um, Hopkins and uh, Kovalev. Uh, a Bregu can't box; he's only a strong puncher. He's awkward. He always comes forward with no head movement. And I mean, I mean, I don't know how Bregu got all them knockouts. To be honest with y'all, so I mean, if you're gonna stand in front of Bregu, Bregu, I'm pretty sure you know he'll knock you out and knock anybody else out as well if you stand in front of him so i mean all you gotta do is move and box a bregu and you can pretty much beat him but that's besides the point what i'm trying to say is you know a bregu has power if you stand in front of him uh terrence crawford don't have power like a bregu so um i don't see anybody getting knocked out in this fight i just think it's gonna be a great boxing match and i'm gonna just pick terrence crawford uh you know just having a little bit more dog on the inside and uh, i think he'll be a better boxer uh that night man april 18th uh, it's going to be a big fight, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this fight. Uh, Tomo, excuse me, Terrence Crawford versus Tomo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we don't know if this fight going to be for, uh, you know, Chris's out jury's uh, vacant WBO 140-pound title. Y'all know he had the, uh, I think he got, I think he sh got stripped when he fought, you know, Manny Pacquiao uh, last year for his welterweight WBO title. So, I don't know if this fight going to be for Manny Pacquiao's, uh, excuse me, not Manny Pacquiao's, but uh, Chris out jury 140-pound title. Don't know, so. I guess we'll find out within a week or two. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this fight. And holler at my mouth, all right? Peace.